I was born and raised a Shia Muslim. I grew up in a religiously saturated environment. So I practiced um, all the requirements uh, of the Islamic law. I prayed uh, uh, my prayers. Uh, I fasted. Uh, it, was, uh, it was at times difficult, at times very easy because I would do it in the community. At school, we would go. Uh, at noon, we would. We were required to go to and do the prayer, and um, so it was a good experience. Uh, growing up, um, I I loved God and I wanted um, to do all that I could to please God. I would memorize the Quran and I loved reading it and I loved memorizing it. It was a good experience. I still know much of it by heart. Allah was God, of course. Uh, he was a distant God. I knew that I had to please Him. And I knew that I was failing most of the times. Um, at some stages, for example, if I was missing a, uh, a prayer, I knew that I had to make up for it or I would be punished. If I was missing a fasting day in Ramadan, uh, I knew that I would have to uh, make up, you know, 30 days for each day or I would be punished. Uh, one of the most difficult uh, things uh, as a woman was if it was the teaching that if my hair was not all covered, I would be hanged, you know, in hell by my hair, you know. Um, so that was uh, my experience growing up. I had a vision when I was six years old of the Virgin Mary. At the time I was um, in a mountain place, it was dark, I fell and I couldn't get up. I wasn't hurt or anything, I, just, I was just heavy, I just couldn't lift myself up. And there was a rock, a huge rock, and this lady came from behind the rock. She held my hand, picked me up, and she said that she was Mary. And something happened to me, um, some kind of warmth. Some, something and that stayed with me I asked my mother who Mary was and uh, she said that she was the mother of Prophet Jesus as Muslim would know her and revere her and I just loved her that touch was like a seed that was planted in my heart it was a seed of love and I just knew that I wanted to be where she was when I was nine, I learned about uh, St. Bernadette. It was an old black and white movie, a 1924 movie, uh, The Song of Bernadette. I saw such purity of, of love in, and such compassion. And when uh, Bernadette was healed by Mary, I saw such a transformation in her life, such a devotion that she left everything behind to just serve God and not because she had to but because she loved God and that was uh, something that I had never seen or experienced as a Muslim. When I saw that, that changed my whole life. At, at that time, uh, the only reason that that I was thinking about Christianity and not Islam, not devotion to um, God in Islam was because I loved Mary and I wanted to be where she was. And I knew that the church was where she was. I was desiring to go to church with all my heart. It, the love was just there and I wanted to see what it's like to go to a church. I had always seen churches, but I had never dared enter a church. And um, we had a friend who, uh, when I shared with, uh, with him that I was interested in learning more about Christianity, he said, well, why don't you come to my church? And, uh, and I went there. And my experience was the experience of arriving home. It was immediately home. It was a peace, a joy that made it be just home where you belong. 
when I when I started going to church, the whole community became my family. Um, I was the only Middle Eastern person in the church, uh, but they loved me. They did anything that they could for me, and they became my true family. And. Uh, they were by my side to take and thin all the difficulties. They supported me. They prayed for me. Uh, when I needed prayer, the whole church prayed for me. And some of them, they stayed with me and prayed with me throughout the time that I needed constantly. Um, so that was a sense of community that I had never experienced um, in Islam, the sense of oneness that we are we all belong together and then I learned about the teachings of Jesus and who Jesus was at the beginning I didn't grasp what it really meant and I remember the first time that I started reading the Bible especially the book of Genesis I thought oh my gosh what the heck is this uh, this is stupid I truly thought you know this you you got to be kidding me um, and also the concept of son of God. I thought, you know, God doesn't have a son. It's only one God. There is only one God. How can these people say that, you know, that we worship one God when they say they talk about three gods? And eventually, I, when I attended the church, I learned about uh, what it means to be the son of God. Not in a physical sense, in a sense that we understand in, a, in our human relationship, but what it means to be the Son of God in God's relationship within God's persons. It was never a matter of um, dogma when I knew I would be a Christian. It was purely love. And what happens is that Christianity is not a faith, a religion that would make sense because it's based on love. If I were to compare points like that, I don't think that I could ever succeed. Uh, it is the work of God. It is uh, the love that God placed in my heart. Um, Islam is a religion that is work-based, so it's logical, it makes sense for me to do something right and to be rewarded for that or wrong and be punished for that. That is how math works, that is how logic works. Uh, to say that, okay, there was a God and he had a son and the son came and he died for the whole world, uh, it sounds more like Greek mythology. It does not make sense. And unless God works in your heart, you cannot accept that. And that's what happened to me. It was purely love. I was so in love with Jesus. He was the person who expressed the depth of love of God for us, for our humanity in this world. It was just purely a spiritual thing, a work of God. My passion and my prayer and my desire is for my Muslim brothers and sisters to come to know Jesus, not because I think that I am right or Christians are right and they are wrong, but because I see how transformative it is. And I see this abundant love and I experience the difference between the time when I was a Muslim, I how difficult it was. At the time, I didn't realize it was difficult. But now that I look back and I live in such freedom, I can see that that I was truly in chain. The difference between Islam and Christianity, as I experienced that, it was like this father, this God that I had known all my life, that I had loved all my life. But I could never really connect with him. I could never embrace him, or I could never experience his embrace. When I became a Christian, I, I experienced the embrace of God. 
I experienced that my father is here, that he is not going to leave me. I was no more, no longer an orphan. Something within me changed. It was not that my actions changed. They changed because of that transformation. But the transformation took place first. As uh, Jesus says, I became like a new creation, like a child that is not orphan anymore, that does not have to be ashamed anymore, uh, that does not have to work so hard anymore. So it was a completely different uh, way of being, not doing. It was being a new creation. So it is, I think it's very important to be open, to just accept the possibility that there might be something to what Christians said. It is not to understand it. Um, they don't need to understand it immediately. Or um, it's just being open. What if Jesus is truly the Son of God? What if we can really have a life that is filled with joy and love and peace instead of having to live a hard life of obedience knowing that you are failing all the time? I mean, these are huge ways of lives, uh, uh, huge different ways of, of living. So I encourage my brothers and sisters to be open and to at least read the Bible and, and be open to the work of God. <laughs>